Okay, let's go crude oil. All right, this is the second video of the day. This happened uh, on the first video all the way down here on our buy setup. Right down here at this low of this bar. Let's first of all take a look at our three, at our template here. We use a nine. I'm going to show you how we get in these trades right here. Big explosions this morning. There's a buy signal. There's a buy signal right here. I'm going to show you how we're going to get in these, cherry pick these trades for these arrows and symmetry, arrows and symmetry. All right, we have a nine Simrico here on our template. We have for you guys a five and a three. I'm going to show you how to enter fives and how to enter threes. Three is a smaller time frame. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. First of all, we need to understand what the five, the nine sim does. The nine sim Rinko, I'm not concerned about the arrows firing off of a nine sim. It's the largest Rinko bar we have. Yes, it works great with trend, and you catch some real big trades like this. It's $1,300 move. But I'm looking for the nine sim just to give me the trend, and then I'm also looking for it to find the spots in the market where my five sim Rinko is going to fire symmetry dot support or resistance with the arrow. You can cherry pick your trades this way. It's happened all week this week in crude, in gold, in the S&P, the Russell 2000, the Dow Mini, you know, etc. Same exact thing. What you're going to do is this. I got three MAs off my 9 sim. Three MAs. Once they, the price is above all three MAs, let's take a look, and I'll show you what we did this morning. We went over this in the webinar. I told you you can find the exact bar where the market should turn before it even happens. We're not talking lagging. We're not talking after the fact. I'm showing you exactly before on a retracement, while the market's retracing, where the arrow should fire on symmetry to the exact bar. Let me show you how we do it. What we do is this. On the 9th sim, if we get separation, if we are above, the open versus close is the body of these candles, the body of my Rinko bar. The beautiful thing about my Rinko bar, it's different than any other Rinko bar. It has a trend filter built in. It lets me see these opportunities. Other Rinko bars do not show these opportunities like this because they're not coded the same way. So what I like to do is I like to see separation, open versus close, separation above all three MAs. Here's our first setup. When you get separation above all three MAs, Right here, open versus close, not the wicks of the candle, not the highs and lows of the candle, but the open versus close, the box, the big green box or red box. Once you see the first red box appear, this is going to be your first retracement to look for a five Rinko bar to come down to symmetry dots, find support within two ticks, and fire the arrow. That was the exact low on symmetry dots, and I'll show you in a second off my five sim where the market just exploded. Then the market gets separation again. We're rolling up. We're firing up right here. Look at the open versus close. Above all three. Look how we're not even touching the shorter MA. Above. Above. Not even touching it. You know to look for a red reversal bar. There's a red reversal bar on the large time frame. It tells you, tells you to look for a five sim Rinko on symmetry dots with an arrow. It caught the exact low there. Market explodes. Here we go again. Separation, red Rinko bar. An arrow fires right at my symmetry dots right here. And the market fires off again. So we literally picked the hottest spots in the market by looking for a pause in the 9 sim Rinko after separation and then not using the 9 sim as an entry technique, but using the 9 sim to find out a leading indicator where we should have a retracement and when we should start looking at the five and three sim Rinko for arrow entries. Now, once you see a pause, an easy way to do it, you see a red reversal bar down here, Look, watch your five sim Rinko, which I'll show you with the symmetry dots. As it comes down, look for the arrow to fire. Once it fires, look for positive market delta, put yourself in the trade, stop loss two ticks above the swing low. It's a huge trade this morning. Market rolls back up comes in, negative market, I mean, uh, a red reversal bar, this is a low on symmetry dots. Red reversal bar, after separation, 
This is a low on symmetry dots and arrow. Okay? This is how you get in five Simrico trades. Now let me show you the five, how this married up. These are all five Simrico trades with symmetry. They all married up because of they all married up because of the pause in the market. That's five sim five sim Rico trades with symmetry dots and arrows. It caught the exact low. All three of those did. Okay, so that's what we're looking for right there. We're looking for the nine sim to pause after separation, open versus close, to fire in the trade. That's strictly order flow, my friends. That's how you trade it. So that nine sim set that up. So th those are your three trades with the five. Now let me show you the five, how to set it up. If I look at the five, what it did when they paused, let me show you. There's your pause in the market right here. This is where the 9 sim was in a hard uptrend, having separation. 9 sim showed you pause in the market on this retracement. Look what happens. Comes down to my symmetry dots. We get the arrow. Symmetry does not get closed below. There's your arrow. There's your entry. The next one is here. That's your first five sim. I mean nine sim pause. Look at the retracement. Came within two ticks of symmetry dots. Market explodes. Here's the next one. Pause on the nine sim. There's my arrow entry. Look at the explosion. There's the arrow entry. Two ticks within symmetry all because the 9 sim set it up. So you can see the 9 sim set it up on the pause. This is where it paused on this retracement. There's your entry. This is where it paused on this retracement. Two ticks in symmetry, pause the market delta. You can enter there with pause the market delta. Here's your pause, the 9 sim. There's your entry. Okay? Now, that's how you trade the 5. Very easy. Simple, right? What we're going to do, if it's a five, Simrico, we're going to trade off the five on the pause on the nine. So when the nine gives a pause, if we got separation, green bar, green bar, green bar, green bar, we're not touching that smaller MA. The first red reversal bar, you're going to look for what? You are going to look for a five Simrico bar with arrows. Now, that's great. That's three great trades we had here this morning. All crude. How can I catch the momentum of in between right here? This is really cool. Here's now how you can trade the three. So that's off my five. Why do I have a three sim Rico even up there? I'm going to show you I can trade the three sim Rico in between these momentum trades. Here you can cherry pick them. Now I can cherry pick momentum and get these four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollar potential trades off of a small time frame. Also, watch. So three sim trade setups. I'll show you the exact bar how to get in here. These are three sim, nine sim setups. These are trades where now we're not going to use the signature dots for buys. We're going to use them for breakouts when the 9 sim sets it up. Let me show you. Really cool. Okay, so here's our 5 sim setups this morning. Right to the exact bar. Caught the exact low here. Caught the exact low here. Caught the exact swing low there. Three swing lows. Major explosion. I'm going to show you how to get the 3. Now, if you're trading the 3 sim, what you want to do is this. The 3 sim you want to see separation, separation, separation. But let me show you what you're going to do on the five. Check this out. The five is what I want to see happen is this. I want to see the five. Here's, here's, our, here's our arrow, okay? Here's our arrow. There's our arrow off the five. There's our error off the five with the nine sim agreement on the pause. What happens is 
is I'm going to show you how to get this right here. If you miss the five to get in the three, this is where I want you to, where I want you to get the three. This big move up. How? When you break through red symmetry, now we're not supposed to sell symmetry red because we're in an uptrend. But once it closes outside of symmetry by a body of the candle, I want you to look for the first retracement long right there. There's your first retracement long off the three. Let me show you. There it is. You can now catch the market by doing what? You can catch the market by a break retest. Here's your break retest. The symmetry dots were at 70. So my symmetry dots were at 70 right there. See? There's my symmetry dots at 70. So what the market did is I closed outside my symmetry dots. I retested my symmetry dots. And my three fired the trade. And these are big explosive trades. Look at that trade. Explosive. So you can time your three sim trades by taking five sim breakouts. If if the nine sim has separation, if the nine sim has separation, both five and three sim trade, trades with the arrow should have separation off of the nine sim. It should have separation off the nine sim or your arrows are not going to see a lot of follow through. That's how you trade the three versus the five. So what I can do now is not only can I catch these trades in between, Not only can I catch the trades in between using market market uh, only if the nine cent lines up though. I can catch these for the five, but I can catch these with the three. These big long moves up. But here's another three cent that gave us a long two. Look at the three two three cent trades. See. Check how this works, man. I'm telling you, it's crazy, 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 crazy how accurate this thing is. So look how we have the five sim support, five sim support buy, buy. Breakout symmetry, three sim fires a trade. Breakout symmetry, three sim fires a trade right there. These are three sim trades right there on a break sim, breakout of symmetry, three sim fires the arrows. These are five sim trades, right? Because when the nine sim pause, but they got to have one characteristic, guys and gals. It's the nine. Your nine's got to have separation. Right now we're we're in a pullback phase. The nine's got to have separation. So here's your three sim trades. Here's your three. I'll be white. You want to trade three in between here? I'm going to trade the five after the pause. Right here, that's symmetry dots. Right here, right here, this is now a pullback. Okay? Now, let's take a look at the NASDAQ. What did I say in the NASDAQ futures? You guys should have made some money off the NASDAQ futures. What did I say? What did I say you should start watching the NASDAQ futures? What time? What time did I say start watching the NASDAQ futures with symmetry arrows? About 9.20, right? To 10 o'clock. Look what happened on the NASDAQ futures. It paused right here at 52. There's a pause on the 9 sim right there. Actually, 54, sorry. 50, no, 50, what was that, 50, sorry, this one right here, 50. There was a pause on the 9 on the nine sim right here on this arrow. Here's your arrow entry short. There's a pause on the 9. 
Look at the big move you got on the NASDAQ futures again. When did I tell you start watching the NASDAQ futures? Start watching them 9.20 to 10. Start watching the Dow 9.20 to 10 o'clock with this setup. Start watching the Russell 2000 9.20 to 10. That's how we do it, guys and gals. That's all order flow. And that's nothing, nothing other than that. So when I taught you in the webinar Wednesday, to trade like this, so I could cherry pick every trade, it's worked every day, hasn't it? It's worked every single day on crude to the exact bar, right? And the arrows that you want to stay away from is that the nine doesn't agree if you don't have separation. If you don't have separation and you're over top of this right here and, and you're over top of the MAs like this, there's no separation. That's when the, if the arrows fire like this on the way down, if the arrows fire on the way down, guys and gals, stay away from them. You don't want buy arrows right here, right here. You don't want these buy arrows if you're straddling the nine sim. These are the arrows you don't want because they're not going to be productive. That's how you can cherry pick these trades. Gorgeous. 